Launching dart. Those insane driving NASCAR type racing maneuvers and techniques that I have with the dart is making people quit the game. What is going on YouTube, the assist man? I'm coming at you guys with another Black Ops 3 gameplay in this gameplay, man. I'm playing some team deathmatch by myself with some randoms and I have an insane bloodthirsty multi-kill game ending type last minute of the game so stick around to the last minute of the game and watch how i pick up all those kills but you know the gameplay is just there for your entertainment you and pleasure let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand and before we get into the topic at hand did y'all see that intro part of the video i had to take that clip from another gameplay because it was so amazing man that dart did you see the way i maneuvered that dart through the house i was bobbing and weaving hit him a double kill in front of the door went through the door bobbed and weaves through all the doorways missed the pillars the staircase and still got the dart into that dude and made him quit the game he was like oh hell no nah. hell no nah. I, I i seen it all now this motherfucker just drove the dart through the house and killed me on the other side yes i did but anyway man let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand now, some people, including myself, have touched base on this previously, but I want to actually make a video specifically about this topic because I have not, and I got some information for you guys. To some of you guys, it might be nothing new. You might have heard this before, but a lot of people are saying, you know, including me, hey, we don't want Infinite Warfare, but we really do want Call of Duty 4. We really want the remastered version of COD 4, but the only way to get it is to buy Infinite Warfare's Legacy Edition thing for like $80. So, me and a lot of you guys were like, well, fuck it. Let's just buy this shit for $80 and then sell Infinite Warfare and then just keep the game code for COD4, the remastered edition. And that's what everybody was saying to do. But it seems like that might not be possible. You see, you know how greedy Activision is. You know how greedy Infinity Ward and these Treyarch companies, but let's just talk about Activision, you know. But you know how greedy Activision is, you know. They make Call of Duty, you know. You know all the moves they have pulled. There has been reports surfacing. There has been some, you know, chitter-chatter around the interwebs that are saying that the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare disc will be required in order to play COD4 Remastered. Now... These are just speculations. Nothing has been confirmed. But you know like I know that a lot of times when you hear speculations about things, they more than not are right. I mean, more than, you know, not times. More times out of none, <laughs> the damn speculations are right. They are correct. But as of right now, nothing is confirmed. It's just all speculations. But the speculations that people have been saying for like the past couple weeks now is that the Infinite Warfare disc will be required in order to play COD4 Remastered. That there is actually not a separate game disc for COD4 Remastered. That there is actually not a separate downloadable digital game code for COD4 Remastered. That it's one disc and the COD4 Remastered is on the disc and the way you access it is through the start menu of the game. So for all of those people, including that guy camping in the corner right there who just shot me in the back, that mother sucker, for all of those people, man, who thought that they could just buy the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare, sell their Infinite Warfare disc and keep their COD4 remastered disc or game code, looks like you're gonna be shit out of luck. That is, unless, these speculations are not correct. That is, unless these speculations, they're not true. They're false. But let me tell you something right now. I am almost going to go out on record and say, I 100% believe this will be a fact. It'll be a fact, Jack. And you know why? Because of fucking Activision. 
Come on, man. How greedy is Activision? How many times have Activision lied to us in the past couple years in Call of Duty, let alone in the past couple months? How many bullshit things has Activision done for the love of money, like Bone Thugs and Harmony? For the love of money. That's Activision. That should be Activision's theme song, that Bone Thugs and Harmony old school classic, For the Love of Money. Because that's all they care about, greed. I mean, come on, y'all remember Black Ops 3 comes out, you know, a couple months before it comes out. And they go on record and say, supply drops will not have gun variants or guns or weapons inside of them. They will be strictly cosmetic. Four months later, after the fucking game comes out, you got motherfuckers walking around with wrenches, swords, all kinds of bullshit, man. Yeah. They took away the gobble gums from people who game share on Xbox recently after you had the goddamn thing for almost 10 months now. I mean, how many times has Activision lied? How greedy is Activision? So let's keep it real. You know damn well Activision be watching YouTubers. You know they be watching YouTube videos. You know they keep their ears to the street. You know they read forums. You know goddamn well that they hear what everybody's saying about, you know, just selling Infinite Warfare and keeping COD4 remastered. And you don't think that those mother suckers are gonna go ahead and try to make some change? Now watch right here, that was a double, a triple for my nipple, and then I turn around and I just decimate and get the whole entire rest of the kills, the triple killer, and all that good stuff, but hey, it's just there. But do you really, really think that Activision does not pay attention to what's going on? They know what everybody's saying. And you know what? They're saying to themselves, well, you know what? Fuck them. We ain't gonna let them profit off us. If they want this shit, they gonna have to buy it and really play it and pay for it. So. Even though it's all speculations, I know how Activision works. I'm almost guaranteeing you that in order to play COD4 Remastered, you are going to have to actually own and have the Infinite Warfare disc inserted in your Xbox One or your PlayStation 4. So, let me know what you guys think about all that. Do you think it's bullshit like I do? Do you believe it? Do you think it's false? Leave a comment down below, man. Let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I take their fucking hearts out their chest and show it to them and do some work at the end of that game. Tell your friends about me, man, so they can subscribe to my channel, they can view my videos, and then you can help a brother out. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man. And until next time, I am out.